Jesus came from his home in Nazareth to Galilee to be baptized by the prophet John. For Jesus, it was the beginning of his mission. But for John, it was the end. John, what is it you want from me? Do you think it makes me happy to see you rotting away in the dark down there with a howling gang outside the bar? Why don't you listen to reason? My task has been to prepare the way for the one who shall wear the crown. John, if I set you free, what would you do with your freedom? I would follow the one whose way I have prepared. Just like many others who already follow him. But you will not set me free. Do not think I have come to bring peace on earth. I've come not to bring peace, but a sword. What is your name, my son? My name is Judas Iscariot. Well, call me a scholar the state finds useful. I read and write Hebrew, Greek, Latin. I, I translate documents. Oh, behold, a scholar who wishes to serve you. But do you need a man like me? The tree is known by its fruit. Come. Stay with us. Nazareth! Ezra! Ezra! 
away. We've got nothing to give them to eat. They should go to the villages where they can find food. There's no need to send them away. You give them something to eat. How? Oh, there are thousands of them. We cannot feed them. Is there any food left? This is all we have. Five barley loaves and two fish. Put the loaves and the fish in the baskets. And give them to the people. Why are you waiting? Do as he says. I'm sorry, there's only one! That's all we have! But we're starving! What do you mean there's only one? There's plenty! God works in Jesus of Nazareth, doesn't he? Through him, 
We can cast off our chains! We must revenge the murder of John the Baptist and we must kill King Harry. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Listen, Morris. It's been said over and over and over again a kingdom is at hand. Now, a kingdom needs a king, doesn't it? So now is the time for the people and tribes of Israel to follow Jesus of Nazareth. With him to lead us, we can gather an army. March on Jerusalem! Yes, Daniel. Wait. And at Passover, proclaim the kingdom of heaven on earth! Yes, 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 yes. Quiet! Quiet, all of you! Now is the time for clear thinking! Not for indulgence in your absurd fantasies, you! You want to kill Herod, and you, you want to march on Jerusalem? You could have your skulls crushed for saying it. On one day, they will. Amos. Amos, we live in obscure times, and you all know that we suffer together. But I would rather die than see Jesus manipulated by men like you. His words speak louder than any of your fake eloquence. And what of his enemies? Hmm? What will defeat his enemies? What will disarm them? Your madness or his mission? Judas. You have to take us to meet him. We have to talk to him. So the Baptist was right. Men must change before kingdoms can. Don't stand in our way, Judas. That's my advice. Brothers! Judas won't stop us. I like some of his ideas. Herod must die. That is certain. He must pay in blood for the Baptist. But I agree with Judas. Jesus of Nazareth must be kept out of the picture for the time being. It would be safer not to speak of him now. We shall wait for the Passover in Jerusalem. That's when you bring him to us, Judas. We have our brothers in the temple guards. They shall arrest the Sadducees and force them to declare Jesus King of the Jews. Are we all agreed? Yes. 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 No, Amos. I don't agree. I have listened to all of you, and not one of you has understood what Jesus of Nazareth means. What does his presence on earth mean? Brothers, I am one who, like you, believe that the people of Israel would rise up in the name of the Messiah and break their chains. But I am Sure now that Jesus of Nazareth means far more than this. Through him Israel will be reborn. Not by force, but by change within. Simon. Simon, you can't give up the cause. We believed in it all our lives. Simon, choose. I choose to pray for you and to follow Jesus of Nazareth if he will accept me. Oh, he will accept you. John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, Rabbi, you do us an injustice. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent? Are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. Do you want our people not to rest on the Sabbath? 
If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, oh, we understand that. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws, we would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. For gold gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A measure for judging this man is right, this man is wrong. And you should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel, Know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation. And for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? What is the heart of the law? Hear, O Israel. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. You said well. You are not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment, no less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? You can't come in! This is no place for the likes of you! What's the matter? See that woman? Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, 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 it's her. What is she doing? She's defiling him. This is no place for you, woman. Come, leave quickly. Simon, sit down. But Rama, you know what kind of a woman this is. Simon, please. Simon, when I came into your house, you didn't pour water over my feet, or kiss me in greeting, or anoint my head with oil. She has washed my feet with her tears, and dried them with her hair, and anointed them. sins, and I know they are many, are forgiven you because of the greatness of your love. Only God can forgive sins, no man. Take this ointment and keep it for my burial. Go in peace.
cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. Take nothing with you except a staff. No pack, no food, no money. Whenever you come to a town or village, find who is worthy in it and stay with him. And if at any place they will not receive you or listen to you, shake the dust off your feet as you leave. Sodom and Gomorrah on the Day of Judgment will fare better than that place. I am sending you out as sheep amongst wolves. Be as wise as serpents, as harmless as doves. Don't be anxious about what you are to say or how you are to speak. It's not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Freely you have received, now freely give. Blessed are you among women. You are his mother. Anyone who obeys our Father in heaven is his brother, his sister, his mother. Take this. The king is coming. Here comes Herod. of Jesus of Nazareth were preaching in the town. Huh? Your Majesty, Jesus himself has no interest in the zealots. Hey, well, he may not, but the zealots still make use of him. They made use of John the Baptist, too. And he is more dangerous now than when he was alive. Watch your tongue. Don't stand there gaping like idiots! Out, 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 out! Have no mercy on those zealots! Kill them all! Carry out the orders! Come on, come on, you zealot scum! Come on! 
You sold your soul to Herod! Herod! God's curse on you! All right! Tie it up tight! You butcher us, Herod, and out of our blood, thousands will rise to take our place! In the name of the king, kill them! And this is how they all end up, all who plot against the king! Poor Amos. To die like that. How good and strong he was, really. Don't grieve, Simon. You warned them what would happen, remember? They were my brothers, Judas. I lived with them since I was a boy. Oh, I know they were mad, I know. But they were honest. They thought they could force God's hand. Exactly. Now, Jesus will go to Jerusalem. And we'll deal with the Sanhedrin on his terms. And there will be no need for a bloodbath. Come. Come, let us find the master. Come! excitement everywhere about you. Yeah. Who do the people in Galilee say that I am? Some say John the Baptist. They will not believe that he's dead. They know that he's dead, many indeed. But they say you're John the Baptist alive again. Yes, yes. I heard one say that you are Elijah, back from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> and some say Jeremiah or Ezekiel. <laughs> yeah. And who do you say that I am? I see you are the Messiah. The Son of the Living God. In saying that, Simon Barjona, you show yourself to be blessed among men. Flesh and blood have not revealed this truth to you. It has come from my Father in heaven. And so now I will call you Peter. This rock I will build what I must call my church. The gates of hell will not prevail against it. To you I give the keys of the kingdom of heaven.
And to you all, I say this. Peter has spoken the truth. And now you know it. But you must not reveal it to any man. The time has not yet come. But another time is coming. The time for me to go to Jerusalem. Oh yes, Master. You must go to Jerusalem. The whole city awaits you. The elders of Israel must know and recognize you. No, Judas. In Jerusalem, the Son of Man will be rejected by the elders and the chief priests of the temple. He will be condemned. He will be handed over to the unbelievers who will scourge him, mock him, put him to death. Then, after three days, he will rise again. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you for my sake. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven as it was for the prophets persecuted before you. In your prayers, remember your Father knows what your needs are before you ask Him. This is how you should pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation.
but deliver us from evil. Master, you said you were going to Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, they would kill you. If that's true, then it's our duty to keep you from going. You must not allow it to happen. Peter. You are thinking as men think. Not as God thinks. is speaking through you. Get him behind me, Satan.
I'll meet you at the gate. Oh, come with us. One more halt, and we'll be nearly there. Jerusalem will be swarming with pilgrims getting ready for the Passover. Will he go straight to the city? He said he would be put to death there. And that he would rise again. Master! Master! Martha and Mary, the sisters of your friend in Bethany, have sent me here to find you. Lazarus is very ill, near death. Go. Tell them I'll be there. Master! Master! He's coming! Master! Martha is coming! Lord, Lord, if you had been with us, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, God will give it to you. Because I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who has come into the world to give us eternal life. Where have you laid him? Come and see. Lord, Lord, I prayed and prayed for you to arrive. You could have kept Lazarus from dying. Take away the stone. But he's been dead four days, Master. His body must already be decaying. Take away the stone. Those who stand round me may believe that I am the resurrection and the life. 
and those who believe in me shall never die. I went down into the countries underneath the earth to the peoples of the past but you lifted my life from the pit Lord my God Lazarus come forth that believes in me but he were dead yet shall he live extremely flattered that you should wish to see me, but why, may I ask? Oh, Master Zera, with respect, there are many people in Israel who feel that your influence in the Sanhedrin offers great hope for the future. And I can think of no better introduction to the High Priest, Lord Caiaphas. Well, since you know so much about me, then you won't be surprised that we know about your rabbi from Nazareth. Miracles. Raising the dead. Extraordinary. Now, I wish that my duties had given me time to see your 
Jesus myself. I wish you had, then you would need no persuading that he is the only man that can bring peace to Israel. What? Oh, the zealots know it, and so... So you might be surprised to learn to your temple guards. The Romans, they're painfully practical. They would welcome anybody that would bring peace to this country. And if it was a peace that cost them nothing, so much the better. The Sanhedrin should proclaim Jesus king of Judea and tell the Romans what? L look, Caesar, we have a new ruler. One from the royal house of David, one in whom we have every confidence, who preaches peace, tolerance and love, even to you Romans. Therefore, you can calmly withdraw your troops. We no longer need them. She put it very well. I would have to put it very well indeed for the Romans to take away their troops and their procurator, not to mention the tax collectors. I was told of your wit, but this is hardly the time for it. All right. <laughs> you and I should not quarrel. What do you want me to do? Hmm? Let Jesus of Nazareth prove himself before the Sanhedrin. I think I can promise you that he shall have that opportunity. Is this Jesus of Nazareth? He's a prophet, a great prophet. A prophet? On a donkey? <laughs> Listen to the healing of the sick! You have come to deliver us! Isaiah said, Jerusalem, daughter of Zion, behold thy king! Master, you are the hope of Israel. You are our prophet and our savior. Jesus, the prophet, save us. Bless us, Master. Heal me, Master. Heal me. change it for our shekels, you know that. Good, and it's cheap. But if you don't like it, I'll show you another part. By turning the house of our Lord into a marketplace, it's a shame. Take a lot. Don't tell. Get the same rate as all the other stores, my friend. It comes to ten shekels and a half. Take two instead of one. The Lord will be grateful. Two fine lambs, two fine lambs. I did this trick to read it for you. money and preach somewhere else. Jerusalem, the faithful city, she that was full of justice, has become a harlot. Stop me! I do not know! I do not know! Has it not been told you from the beginning? What are your multitude of sacrifices to me, says the Lord? Bring forth no more vain offerings! Of prayer! He's a fool! We must stone him to death! And you have turned! 
turned it into a den of thieves. Rabbi, my name is Zera. I'm a scribe of this holy place. And I, like my brethren, have followed your mission with great interest. We have heard good things of you and are glad. But what you have done here today both shocks and surprises us. Do you wish to destroy the sacred temple? The temple is not mere stone. It is the house of God. It cannot be destroyed as long as God lives here. Destroy this temple. And in three days I will make it rise again. It took centuries to build this temple. Do you think you can rebuild it in three days? You have said it. But you have not understood. Rabbi, I understand better than you think. That scribe had every intention of greeting you in a friendly manner. He wanted to understand your mission. Was it wise to discourage him? He has one of the most open minds in the Sanhedrin. Open your heart, Judas. Not your mind. Open your eyes and your heart. Master Zera! Master Zera! Oh. My dear Judas, you're quite right. Your master has very little political sense. But he is an extraordinary man. And we shall continue to watch his mission with great interest. Sam will be teaching in the temple. Shall I take you to him? No. I'll wait. I'll see him when it is time. Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you, many kings and prophets have desired to see what you see and have not seen it. To hear what you hear and have not heard it. I thank you, Father, for hiding these things from the learned and the wise and revealing them to the innocent 
and the simple. For he who would be great among you must be your servant. He who would be the first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come, O oh blessed of my Father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was a prisoner, and you visited me. I was sick, and you came to me. You will ask, when? Did we do this for you? Whoever does this to the least of my brethren, he does it to me. Barabbas, a zealot. Before he was murdered, Amos sent word to us. He said to trust you. My brothers are ready. Some of them are temple guards. Our day of revenge against the Romans has come. Every day their grip becomes tighter. Our people have grown used to oppression. But with you to lead them, and with our swords behind you, they will rise up. We can teach them to fight. Some of the priests and Sadducees have said, Obey the laws of Caesar. They do not speak for the Jewish people. Tell us what to do. Whatever you say will follow you. Then love your enemies and forgive those who use and persecute you. The day of forgiveness is at hand. Forgive Herod? Forgive the Romans? 
forgive them all. But the, the Romans have butchered hundreds of innocent people, young people, old people, lives ended without mercy, without trial. Surely you, you, you can't mean to forgive that, Master. We must meet the sword with the sword. All who take up the sword shall perish by the sword. But we must end the voice of weeping in Israel. Barabbas, your zeal blinds you to the truth. The new Jerusalem will not be built by murder and uprisings. The wisdom of God will fill the land as water fills the sea. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There'll be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more. While we wait for that day to come, our people live in mourning and lamentation. Barabbas, you wish to follow me? I have come to take on my shoulders the sins of the world. He who would follow me must do the same. Barabbas. children use those words. You know it is blasphemy. And you are responsible for it. Have you never read the Psalms? Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. By what authority do you do these things? Before I answer, I will ask you a question. From where did John the Baptist receive authority to baptize? From heaven or from men? We don't know. We, we can't tell. Very well. You tell me nothing. Nor will I tell you by what authority I do these things. <coughs> but I will tell you a story. Oh. <laughs> there once was a man, and he had two sons. And to the first son, one day, he said, go and work in the vineyard. And the son said, no. But afterwards, he thought better of it, and he went. Now the man said exactly the same thing to his second son, who said, certainly. But he didn't go. Now, which of the two boys did his father's will? First. Second. 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 Yes, the first. <laughs> and what is the meaning of this story? That there are those who think they are righteous because they say yes to God. But they do not do his will.
John the Baptist came to you in righteousness, but you didn't believe him. Even when you saw that there were sinners who believed and repented, they will get into the kingdom of heaven before you do. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who persecute you. If you love only those who love you, why should you claim any credit? Even the tax collectors do as much. If anyone strikes you on the right cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, give him your cloak as well. Give to everyone who asks from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them back. Do not do to others anything you would not have them do to you. Pass no judgment, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Be perfect, just as our Father in Heaven is perfect. Ask for this gift, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. What father refuses his child? If you who are imperfect know how to give what is good to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give to those who ask him? According to the law! Take her to the master! The master! Yes, the master! Shame on you! No! Shame! Stone her! Stone her! Master, what should we do? This woman has been caught in the act of adultery. She should be punished according to the law. What do you say? Answer, Master. We want to know your opinion. Yes, tell us. Is it right to kill her? He among you who is without sin, let him cast the first stone.
come on. Where are your accusers? Is there anyone here who's condemned you? Uh, no. No one. Then neither do I condemn you. Uh, Go. And sin no more. Everybody they met. A Roman oh, here? Oh, Dave! And Is he a centurion? So the wedding hall was full of people. Oh, no! I'm sorry if I disturbed you, Rabbi. But I would like to ask you a great favor. I have a servant in my house. I've had him a long while. And he's good, loving, more like a son than a servant. He's very sick, dying, I fear. Rabbi, in all humility... You would like me to come to your house? Very well. I will come with you. No. I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof. I know that if... if you say the word, my servant will be healed. I am a man under authority. I myself have authority over a hundred soldiers, and if I say to one of them, do this, I know that he will do it. And if I say to another, go there, I know that he will go. I need not see. I know. So it is enough that you give the word, and it will be done. Do you hear this man? I have seldom found such faith among the people of Israel. Go home. Your faith has cured your servant. So he's a friend of the Romans. Your orders are changed. But we know we are the chosen people. How can a pagan be worthier than a son of Israel? Everybody, everybody is welcome at my father's table. Rich, poor, masters, servants, Children of Abraham and the pagans. Theseus! 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 Come home, it's all right! Marcus is well, your servant is cured! What? Come on! <laughs> come on! Come and see for yourself! It's all right! It's my eyes, it's cured! Come on! Theseus. Come, on. Theseus. come to your house! <laughs> It is that thou art the Lord our God, is the God of our fathers, our King and the King of our fathers, our Saviour and the Saviour of our fathers, our Creator and the Rock of our salvation, our help and our believer. Thy name is forever. May God beside thee, those that were saved, sang a new song to thy name, and I have a song to Together they praise thee for the same thing, and they said that all shall be as a river, and there is a blessing with the Lord who saves us. For it is that thou art the Lord our God, 
God and the God of our fathers, our King and the King of our fathers, our Savior and the Savior. Intervene. No. At least not for the moment. I must confess that I'm fascinated by this man's power over the peoples. We must find out where this power comes from. Well, we must admit he's capable of extraordinary things. They say he raised one of his friends from the tomb. A clever trick before coming to Jerusalem. Yes, but you must admit... Please, brothers, be advised. We must not act impetuously. Eliphaz. Ask the captain of the temple guard to report to the high priest Caiaphas. Immediately. Arms give to the poor blind man. May he, may the Lord give you happiness. God give you good health. Give to the blind. Please. I was born blind. For my parents sin. May the Lord give you happiness, help, I was born blind, please, help for the poor blind man, please. He does too well as a blind beggar. If he could see, no one would give him anything. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, I say. Master, that man was born blind. He's accepted his life the way it is. Why then change it? He lives in darkness. And as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Oh, don't leave my eyes alone. I don't want you to touch them. No, don't touch my eyes. No, oh, ah, you are hurting me. They're burning. What have you done to them? What have you put on them? Go and wash his eyes. Come on, let's take him to the temple. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. 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 Oh, 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 Come with us and see. The master has cured the blind man. Can he see? He don't know yet. Give him a good walk. He hasn't touched water all his life. Go him in. Give him a good walk. <laughs> anymore I can see you and you I can see brothers brothers I'm not blind anymore I can see everything now I know what it means to see. It's a miracle, I tell you, it's a miracle. I can see the world. My eyes are open. You can see. Brothers, I can see all of you. All of you. What would you think of that? Make way, make way there. The high priest is coming. Out of the way. Get back. What have you got to say? 
What have you got to say about the man who healed you? He's a prophet. There is no doubt. What are you saying? You got your sight back from God, not from that man. He's a sinner. I, I don't know. I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. I only know one thing. I was blind. I was blind before. And now I can see. <laughs> it's a miracle. I must go to this man. I must thank him for what he has done for me. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> was never blind. What are we you? We of the he's temple lying. know that he only pretended to be blind in order to earn his living. He's it's right. He's a liar. I've known him a long time. He's never been blind. And what's your story? That you can give sight to the blind? I came into this world to give sight to those who cannot see. And to take away sight from those who can. What do you mean by that? that we who are righteous are blind. If you were blind, you would be without sin. But since you say we see, your sin remains. That's true! Yes. This man walked through the devil! No! He was a cheat! A fanatic! Scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites all, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. You do not go in yourselves, nor do you let others enter. Blind guides, you strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. You bow before the letter of the law and violate the heart of the law. Justice, mercy, good faith. You are like whited sepulchres, all clean and fair without, but within, full of dead men's bones and all corruption. You see these stones, do you not? I tell you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. Yours? is a house of desolation, the home of the lizard and the spider. Serpents, brood of vipers, how can any of you escape damnation? You shall not see me here again, not until you learn to cry. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For I and my father are one and the same. He is a blasphemer. This is the man. Why, Ted, several times. You have forsaken the Lord, and now you despise the Holy One of Israel. You don't speak for the people of Israel. Listen to the teachings of our God. Remember He should be stoned to 
don't know what's going on. I don't like it. I'll take a look. Look up, Mr. Stanley. All right. Peter. If you please, I've come to offer my help. Master Nicodemus. Yes, I must advise you. You are in danger. Please persuade your master to keep away from public places. God must have sent you, Master Nicodemus. You speak to him. Of all people, he will listen to you. Come. Master? of the Sanhedrin. You have many enemies there, but also friends who know that you are a teacher come from God. For no man could show the signs or have the words that you impart unless God were with him. But yet, my heart is troubled and my mind confused. You must help me see the truth. Except a man be born again, Nicodemus. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again? Can a man enter his mother's womb the second time? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it will. And you hear the sound of it. But you don't know whence it comes or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. God so loved the world that he sent his own son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world not to condemn it, but that the world may be saved through him. Now, some scenes from Jesus of Nazareth, part four, the final episode, which will be presented tomorrow night. I shall not be with you much longer. Master, I will follow you wherever you go. I will lay down my life for you. This very night, before the cock crows twice, 
you will have denied three times that you even know me. Oh, my Lord, never. This is your hour, Judas, the hour of shadows. Oh, master. You betray your master with a kiss. Are you the son of God? Who are you? What are you? Don't you realize I have the power to release you? Have you crucified? 